So is your child attracted to screens like a bug to the light, whether it's the TV, computer, or a handheld device? Our next guest says children are becoming addicted to screen technology, and it's important that parents set limits. Bill Corbett is a parenting expert who wrote Love, Limits, and Lessons, a parent's guide to raising cooperative kids. Bill joins me now here on Style. Those are some pictures. <laughs> they kids were. get a little obsessed, though, right? Yeah, all I have to do is go out to dinner in a restaurant, and you see the kids glued to the, dev the handheld devices. But isn't it re better to have a conversation? I know it might keep them quiet, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think what's happening is uh, parents are succumbing to the demands because their friends have it. Mm -hmm. And our, you can be a great, effective parent, but your kids are going to interact with kids who, whose parents may not be. I see. Well, tell us a little bit about your background. Now, you're a dad. Yep. I have uh, three children. I have three stepchildren and two grandchildren. Oh, wow. And uh, I, I, I was uh, an executive at a company many, many years ago and realized I needed to be a better dad than, than I had. Mm -hmm. So I be, began teaching parenting classes. And then after I began to master it, realized I could help others uh, change their parenting as well. Very good. So um, we're going to talk about some tips for parents yep. uh, to help them kind of limit the, the screen time. First, you say limitation, obviously. And psychologists tell us that there is uh, what happens in the brain is 30 minutes or more begins an addiction mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's an increase in the dopamine so we want we want to see more it's like a drug it, it is it is like a drug and wow. it behaves the same way and leads to addiction even though parents say come on it's not that big of a deal no it is a big 30 minutes or more it, it's, it sets up addiction so we need to limit their exposure and their access and you say a good idea is keeping uh, all types of screens out of the bedroom the bedroom is the bedroom is designed uh, most effectively for kids to have a place to go, to be quiet, to to think, mm -hmm. to a little bit more inward thinking and focus on themselves and what they're thinking about. But when we have uh, computers and, and video games and all kinds of screens in there, it keeps them from going inside to mm -hmm. grow their self-esteem. That's true. Does that include a t television too? Would you say? Yeah, really. I, I Keep encourage it out, huh? everything all electronic devices out. The only thing that I'm okay with is maybe a radio or a boombox, something like that. And I'm talking about children and young teens. Okay. As they begin to get older, 14, 15, 16, we can start releasing more stuff to them. All right, you say uh, it's a good idea to have a password on your wireless router. Yeah, I saw this thing on the internet one day where the mother said, uh, left a note for her kids, if you want today's password, I hear the following chores must be done first. I thought that's a great that idea. That is clever, right? Yeah, because we have the access to secure our, our um, server, but it's, uh, it's important that we have to learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. And it is a little bit of technical uh, e education we need, but when you develop it and get the knowledge, it's very effective. All right. Uh, handheld devices should be signed in and out. It's not a free-for-all, huh? No way, no way. <laughs> because, look, what child will want to say, gee, I need to do my homework right now? It's difficult for them. Do I play the Nintendo mm -hmm. in my handheld or and text my friend, or do I get the math stuff done? So I encourage parents to have time when they can use it in time that they should, they should keep it away from them. Got it. Now, you also should set a good example for your kids. You should. <laughs> and now, unfortunately, we do. Uh, we're the adults, and sometimes you might have to say, I'm the parent. Uh -huh. But, again, you want to show that you have time that you don't use it and time that you do. Okay, and when uh, the kids object to the limits, what do you do? Um, my big parenting advice is uh, earplugs. Just let them cry about just, it for just, a little while? Just let them, you know, <laughs> and I'm being facetious about it. We, we want them to know that we're listening. So you want to let them know that you hear what they're saying, you know, emphasize with them and say, you know what, I understand. But, but this is it. <laughs> but this is it. And be very calm. Do not let them pull you into the argument because they want to try to make you crack is sure. what it is. All right, Bill, the name of the book again is? Love, Limits, and Lessons, A Parent's Guide to Raising Cooperative Kids. And where can we find it? You can find it on Amazon and wherever books are sold. Thank you so much for the advice today. Great, glad to be here. All right, don't go away. More style after the break. We'll be right back.